Now normally, when we're setting up a lab scope to diagnose a system on a vehicle, usually the three things we're kind of concerned with when using a lab scope is the vertical scale, how many volts or maybe how many amps per division, our horizontal scale, uh, the time base, the sweep speed, and trigger. So right now I want to show you those three commonly used functions. First of all, we're going to take a look at our uh, input range or vertical scale adjustment. If you watch my mouse, I'm going to hover it right here for a moment and you can see it comes up and says input range. This is where we change our vertical scale. So I'm going to open up the drop down menu and you can see that I can either turn it off, I can leave it in an auto mode, or I can bring it down to plus or minus 100 volts. Now the second thing I, I want to talk about, and it's usually what is done when using a lab scope, is I want to set my zero. Because Pico is such a powerful PC-based lab scope, there is usually more than one way to accomplish a task. So for example, if I want to change my zero position, one way that I can do it is I can take my mouse, bring it to my left hand scale, and you'll notice it went from an arrow pointer to a double arrow, I can left click on my computer and hold and then using my mouse controls I can drag my zero up. I think you can see my zero moving up and down. So I'm going to bring it right now to about the center of the screen. And the scale that I've chosen is plus or minus 20 millivolts but on the screen I see my zero, I see a positive 10 and I see a minus 10 and I thought I chose plus or minus 20. If I bring you down to the lower left hand corner, a place that you will be frequently when you're setting up your scope. There's a little box here that I can highlight and click on one time and it has a scale adjustment and an offset adjustment. The scale is a vertical multiplier. Right now it's defaulted to two. I will click down to one and I will close the box momentarily and if I bring you back now to the left hand side vertical scale, you'll see there's our positive 20 volts and there's our minus 20 volts. Now here's why you might want to use a vertical multiplier. Let's say that I'm looking at a signal that's going to be somewhere between 0 and 14 volts. Right down here there, there's a lot of empty white space and certainly when we use a lab scope we want to keep the screen as big or as filled as possible for better analysis. So I'm going to drag my 0 down to either one or two divisions from the bottom. So I'm going to go with two divisions from the bottom. So that's better, but I can see now that I've got some extra space up here and I'm well above the 20 volt mark, though I will not measure above that. So now I can use my vertical multiplier, click on the box, now I multiply that times two, and what Pico does, it takes your range of plus or minus 20, and when you multiply by two, it displays plus or minus uh, 10 in, in that range. So right now, if I bring my zero back up, I can see a positive 10 and a minus 10, but if I bring my zero down, let's say two divisions, I can see a positive 16 and a minus 4, so the total range is 20 volts. It's not plus or minus 20, which would be a total range of 40, but I've zoomed in by a factor of 2, so now it's a total range of 20 volts minus 4 and a positive 16. This would be commonly used for many uh, system checks on a vehicle. Now the other way that I can move my zero is if I come back down here again and highlight that blue box, it says offset. Lower says negative 15 percent. So if I click the upward arrow, if you watch my zero, as I approach zero percent offset, my zero line will be right in the center in the middle of my screen. So you can move your zero up and down by using the controls found in this corner or I think which I think you'll probably use more frequently is you left click hold and drag it down and that would be a pretty good way to uh, to set your zero. Uh, the second thing regarding this is if I bring you to the upper left hand corner you'll see a little letter A kind of an arrow pointing downward and as you can see that appeared on my screen this is called channel options advanced options for channel A. Now normally when we're checking things like maybe a TPS or an injector or some kind of voltage measurement, when I click on this we will have a probe choice. And you can see the, there's a pretty good list here and the probe choice normally defaults to times one. So this would be I'm using a voltage lead. Now you'll also see down here 
I have high amp current probes preset. I have low amp current probes. I have capacitive pickups for secondary ignition. And I also have the Pico pressure transducer. So these are some preset probes. So for right now, I'm just going to leave it at, at the normal voltage probe of, of times one. 